Good morning, family. It is wonderful to spend some time with you this morning. Now, we are in the last week of our sales series, and our theme for this week is Keep Direction. We are in day one of this week, and the theme for today is a three-point fix. We're going to read in Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 3. Let us run with endurance the race God has set before us, our eyes fixed on Jesus. A three-point fix is a technique sailors use to determine their current position by identifying three fixed points surrounding them. God also gives us fixed points to determine our direction or our position. The first point God gives us is Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13 verse 8 says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are called to trust, follow, and obey. Focus on his example, his words, and your relationship with him as a fixed point, and you won't just be floating around. That is why the writer in Hebrews write, think of him, focus on him. My question for you today is, do you still focus on him? Do you still focus on Jesus? The second point is the word of God. Now, Jesus points out that the word is a fixed point. When you read Matthew 5 verse 18, we read the following. I tell you the truth, until heaven and earth disappear, not even the smallest detail of God's law will disappear until its purpose is achieved. God's word as assembled in the Bible is a fixed position that can help us keep direction in life. The three-point fix technique can only be done if you can see the three points. For the word to become a fixed point, we have to read the word. We have to spend time in the word. We have to allow the word to become a fixed point in our life, in our lives. The third point is the great command. Now we're going to read Matthew 22, verse 37 to 39. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now our hearts can't be fixed points, but it can be a reference point. Our true position, your true position and my true position with regards to Jesus and the word will always be revealed through our hearts. Is your heart still beating passionately for Jesus, for his kingdom, for his children? If this is not the case, allow point one and two, Jesus and the word to determine your direction. With these three points in place, we will be able to determine our direction. Let's pray together. Father God, today we honor you because you are God. Lord, please help us to keep Jesus Christ, the word of God and our hearts as fixed positions so that we can always keep direction. We love you. We adore you. In Jesus name. Amen. May you have a wonderful day. Be blessed.